Hey, it's Doug Perry, and I am a realtor with Property Consultants in Bucktown. And today on Logan Square and West Town Homes Live, I'm going to share my market snapshot for the Logan Square area. Now, the Logan Square community area consists of three neighborhoods, Logan Square, Palmer Square, and Bucktown. So let's get right to it. Okay, so what we have is Market Snapshot. It's a free tool, and its name implies what it does. It gives you a snapshot of any neighborhood that you choose. Um, what I have here is Logan Square, which is basically the 60647 zip code. I'm just looking at condos, all price ranges, two or more beds. So what you have over here is some summary information. Uh, it's a little skewed because it contains all price ranges and many bedroom sizes. Uh, what we really want to look at, is the actual snapshot and what you see are all these houses on a map and they're color coded and the color code corresponds to its status and the big buttons you see at the top so blue there are six which are fresh on the market since the last time I looked at market snapshot so that was about two weeks ago for Logan Square so there have been six on the market since then 17 which have been on the market uh, for a week or more and they are the green properties. And then uh, 37, which have sold, those are represented by the red houses. Nine pending, in other words, they're under contract, attorney review, inspection period, uh, those represented by the, uh, the gold. And then 31 have expired or been canceled. And um, just to orient you here, uh, this is Fullerton. This is Western. Of course, this is the Kennedy. And uh, just below here is the 606. Now, we can filter uh, what we see by clicking on the big buttons at the top. So if I just wanted to see um, properties which have sold or are under contract, I would click everything except the red and the gold button. And if I wanted to drill down and see a house, I would click the house on the map. And guess what? It's highlighted over here on the right. And if we click that, you get all the details. You see all the pictures. There are links for properties, property details, schools nearby, neighborhoods, etc. Now, once the property is actually sold, all you get is the exterior pictures. But once this, while it's still on the market, you get everything. Okay. So tell you what, let's sort a little bit more and just look at sold property. So since my last or the last time I looked at market snapshot for Logan Square, which was about two weeks ago, 37 have sold. Currently is sorted from uh, low to high. So uh, on the low end, you've got 230,000. And then on the high end, you've got 837,500 or $837,500. Um, you know, these days, the median price for a condo in Logan Square is about four eighty five. dollars um, and this one happened uh, uh, just uh, less than two weeks ago. But actually, you know what? Let's sort again and let's look at the most recent sales. Okay. So it looks like the most recent one was January 8th. Uh, sold for 349 dollars at 1751 Northwestern. So let's drill down and take a look at that. Okay, so again, once it sells, you only get the exterior picture, but you see this is a two bed, two bath. Uh, they did not report the square footage, which is, which is not uncommon for condos. Uh, if we want property details, we can click that link right there and you see that the master bedroom, uh, is 11 by 11 and, uh, that it is on the main level of the condo and that it has hardwood flooring and you get you know similar levels of details in all of the other rooms bathrooms kitchen and dining room other rooms uh let's see parking yeah you get one parking space oh and actually it it does appear to be a garage an attached garage okay so that's handy you don't have to fight through the snow and rain walking score actually before we get to that let's look at some of the other things okay schools nearby 
If you have school-aged children, you might be interested in this. Pulaski uh, International School is uh, less than a half mile away. Um, sometimes you get information on uh, grades and student-teacher ratio. Sometimes it's not furnished. There is a school rating, 7 out of 10. This info is provided by the National Center for Education Statistics. So, um, again, sometimes you get, uh, you know, all the information and sometimes you don't. Okay, neighborhood, you get info on uh, where the shops and restaurants and grocery stores and whatnot are relative to the house. So the house is, rep I'm sorry, the condo is represented by the blue pen, and these are all the restaurants nearby. Um, let's take a look at nearby coffee shops. Uh, let's see, Hero, Hero Coffee Bar. Okay, so this has gotten uh, 28 reviews. And uh, the reviewers have given it, on average, four out of five stars. It's very close. If you want to see the hours of operation, the phone number, some pictures, menu, etc., you just click the link, and it takes you to Yelp. So that's real useful, you know, because after all, um, home isn't just the four walls you live within. It also includes shops, restaurants, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Walk score. Walk score uh, is 93 out of 100, so it seems like a friendly uh, and nice place to walk around. And at the bottom, you get summary information. This particular home sold for $349.9 in 12 days, whereas the median sold price is $405 in 88 days. So uh, this was seen as um, a good deal, and people just kind of jumped on it pretty quickly. So in a nutshell, that's Market Snapshot. So I hope you found value in that. If you'd like your very own market snapshot, I'm more than happy to send it to you. All you have to do is click the link that you see on your screen. It's also in the show notes. Uh, go ahead and click that right now, and you too will receive your own market snapshot. And what's beautiful about it is that you can customize it. Um, if you have any questions about real estate, call me, Doug Perry, at 312-572-9801, or you can email me at dperry at propertyconsultants.com. I'd love to speak with you. Love to meet you even better. Have an awesome day.